Hi guys, in today's episode, I would like to present you three books that I highly recommend and that I read in 2022. All these books are related to software development. However, one of those books is as well a nice read for anyone related to product ownership, product management, and so on. As you see behind my back, I really love to read books. Some time ago, I tried to move to switch to digital versions and I have a lot of books on my Kindle. However, from time to time, I really like to buy a paper book. And today's books will be all in the paper form. My favorite book that I can highly recommend is the book from Yevgeny Brickman and it's called Hello Startup. The author here describes the things related to startups, so how to hire people for startup, how to be hired for the startup, how to build the product, how to deliver it, how to build teams, how to select technology stack and so on. So for me, this book is like a Swiss army knife. It describes a lot of different concepts, a lot of different things. However, of course, it cannot be described in a lot of details. So you will find here the information like continuous integration, continuous deployments and so on. However, if you want to read more, you will need to look for it in the internet on in the other books, which are focusing on this exact topics. So if we look into this book, we can find that it is split into three parts. So in part one, author describes products. So why startups, startup ideas, product design, data and distribution. In part two, technologies are described. So how to pick up a stack, then how to do the clean code, scalability, software delivery. And in software delivery, as mentioned before, we have topics about continuous integration, automate deployments, and so on. From the part three perspective, the author is talking about teams. And here we have startup culture, getting a job at a startup, hiring for your startup, learning, and then other recommendations. What can you read after going through this book? The second book, which I really liked, is the Grokking Algorithms one. The author here describes the basic, and not only the basic algorithms, in a very simple way. So there are a lot of drawings, pictures, and easy descriptions. My favorite description is about the differences between arrays and linked lists. However, I will not tell you what it is exactly there, so you can buy it and go and read it through. I can highly recommend this book for any entry point level engineer or the engineer who would like to just remind himself the knowledge about several different algorithms. And the last book which I have for today is the book which I can highly recommend for any software engineer, not only the ones who are preparing for job interviews, because as you can see here from the title, it's system design interview. And authors here are describing 13, I think 13 different systems which are to be built during the job interview for system design. And they say how to analyze the problem, how to focus on the correct parts, how to build it from scratch, how to optimize it and so on. So this book, why I am saying this book is really nice for all the software engineers, not only the ones who are preparing for job interviews, is because there are different examples of different systems which we don't work on a daily basis. So if you work on a daily basis with two, maybe three systems, then great. But there are in total 13 in the book, in the volume two. And there is as well a lot of systems descriptions in the volume one. And the volume one, unfortunately, I do not have in the paper version. I have it on my Kindle. However, I can highly recommend both parts. And if we look here, what kind of systems are there? We see that there is the proximity service, nearby friends, Google Maps, distributed message queue, metrics monitoring and alerting system, ad click even aggregation, hotel reservation system, distributed email service, S3 like object storage, real-time gaming, leaderboard, payment system, digital wallet, and stock exchange. And what is great here in this book is that it touches a lot of different areas like message queuing, caching, optimizing database reads, optimizing database writes, how to design the API, how, what, when and how to put the load balancer, and so on. So this is another book that I can highly recommend. 
And if you are interested in the books which are focusing on the exact topic that I read in 2022, which are related, for example, to domain-driven design, to splitting mo uh, monoliths to microservices, to test-driven development and so on, then please let me know in the comment section. And I would like to thank you for listening to today's video and watching it and see you in the next episode.